This activity is the fourth of its kind by the Camp Africa team in the Gambia. The initiative started in 2007, and since then, the camp has been attracting people from different countries in Africa and abroad. This year's event commenced in January 27 and has been engaging in several activities meant to strengthen peace as well as promote culture and tourism of the Gambia. The latest activity held by a group of campers was this carnival as they moved from Westfield heading to traffic light all the way to Senegambia area. Their team encouraged cross-cultural dialogue and promote diversification in the tourism sector through a multifaceted program involving sporting, cultural, educational and community focused activities under the theme of responsible tourism. It was a move welcomed by many of the participants. Um, this is my first time to the Gambia and the first time being part of Camp Africa. Um, I'm a teacher from England and um, I've come to have a look at the programme to see if I think I should bring pupils next year and I definitely want to bring pupils. Um, it was really good, it was a really fun atmosphere, uh, lots of singing, lots of dancing, lots of drumming um, and it felt really good to be part of that and dance with the students. And dance with the students. Okay, so we are expecting you again in the Gambia. You will see me January 2015. As the host of Camp Africa, I've, this is my second year attending the Camp Africa, 2013 and 2014. And I'm always, you know, I'm always satisfied. I'm always loving the environment because different country, people from different countries come together. And on, we don't only have fun in camp, but we always learn. We always learn morals. We always learn how to, you know, adapt other people's culture, other people's tradition. We learn a lot. And as young people uh, and young, as growing together, we also learn to live in other people's environment. For Alassane Adamu, head of the delegation from Niger, and Kajali Baji, also from Senegal, this move should be encouraged by all, and as it strengthens the peace among the youths beside promoting understanding and development. At the end of the carnival, the team of campers proceeded to the new land of Itog to lay the foundation stone. There, the head of the school, Tijan Nyang, and the Itog board chairman, Adamaba, applauded the move and thanked government for its support towards the acquisition of the land. These officials are, however, calling for support to help them build the desired structure for the ITOC school. The following night, the Camp Africa team were hosted to a gala dinner as part of their farewell towards the end of the camp. The dinner provided the participants from UK, Poland, Hong Kong, Japan, Benin, Senegal and several other countries a moment of reflection as they prepare their way back home. That since the inception of uh, Camp Africa, we have always been very optimistic that um, it is a product that is here to stay. And it is actually manifested over the years that since 2011, if my records have been right, um, every year you know, we have almost 100 participants. We have Gambians on the ground who are ready to turn around the tourism of the Gambia. We believe that tourism is not all about the peak and the green season. Tourism for the Gambia has to be an all-around destination. As part of the night, these people from various countries engage in a dancing competition by dividing themselves in three teams, Team Gambia, Team Senegal, and Team Britain. Team Senegal emerged victorious as winners of the fourth edition of Camp Africa Dancing Competition, followed by Team Gambia and Team Britain. Camp Africa is an initiative that continues to grow every year, attracting more people all over the world, and their officials are hoping that in the years to come, more participants will join them in their quest to promote peace and African culture. Reporting for GRTS News, I am Winifred Nicole Hodibat.